Hey guys, Tom McGrath here. The purpose of this video is to show you or give you an opportunity to tell by looking at the specs of a knife, if the knife handle will be comfortable in your hand to be used for self-defense purposes. Because you need to obviously a good, strong, firm grip on it. You're going to need to take two measurements for that. To tell if the length of the handle is right for you, you're going to measure the width of your hand with a good firm grip, butt it up against the table to accommodate for any bulge that happens when you grip tightly in that, in that muscle on the side of the hand. Uh, the front of your fingers, and what that's for is the grip portion of a knife handle. He's a more robust, and that I believe has a four and a half inch grip portion. Uh, the overall handle is either four and three quarters or four or five. I'll have to look it up later. But that barely fits my grip. On paper, that five inch handle should fit me fine. Uh, but when I roll it around this way, that does not fit my hand well. Uh, my fingers are not met by a mechanical stop. And I could slide my fingers down on the blade uh, if I were to thrust something hard with that. Something like this Cold Steel Counterpoint 1 does fit my hand well, uh, and I have some room on the top and bottom as a mechanical stop. My fingers fit in the grip portion, and it does fit my hand well. So, another area you're going to measure, good firm grip on the table, is back by the thumb area, and that's going to give your overall width of your hand. And the reason for that is, if you're holding something with a cross guard, here is a Ontario uh, SP10 Raider buoy. Uh, you want a little standoff distance from that cross guard. You don't want to have it, you know, let's get this one here. This is a cheap Chinese knockoff of the Cold Steel Tramaster. You don't want your thumb, your hand right up against that cross guard uh, because you can see here that it's actually extending uh, beyond the cross guard. So if someone were to meet my blade and slide down, I could get cut there. Where if I had some standoff and enough room in the handle to bring my hand back, then the blade comes down and it can move at a fairly decent amount before my thumb would get cut. So that's the other dimension you're going to take. So the first one for the grip portion is going to be front of your hand here. Make a good firm fist to make sure that muscle bulges out so you get that. That's what's going to happen when you grip something uh, like a, a tool handle. That muscle is going to bulge out. You need to accommodate that. And then the other dimension is, oops, I'll catch that later, is where your thumb is. So the full height here. Now for the uh, circumference of a knife handle, you're going to measure the length of your hand. For me, that's, you want to measure from the uh, crease of the where the wrist starts all the way to the fingertip, for me that is eight inches. That's gonna give you, if a, a knife handle fits in your hand well, in terms of grip, in terms of thickness, the diameter of the handle and the circumference. So what we want is, like on a Pitotertia stick, we want uh, this index finger and the ring finger to touch your palm, but not bottom out so the fingertips are compressed against the flesh against the bone, because that means the tool is too small for your grip. For instance, this cheap battle song, too small for my hand, my fingers are bottoming out here. Um, where that counterpart one works really well for my size hand. So the purposes of the, I'm, I'm going to do an article, and I'm going to put all of these knives plus machetes uh, in the article and give you the specs, manufacturer specs. And I'm going to give you both total handle length, grip area handle length, and the handle circumference. So you can tell based on comparing your hand length to mine, your hand size to mine, uh, if that handle will be comfortable for you. So if you, you know, might have a bigger hand than mine, you might have a smaller hand than mine, you should be able to get a rough idea. You know, obviously it's best to hold the thing in your hand yourself, but these days you can't go into 
stores too often. So at least you'll get an, a rough idea of the specs, comparing my hand to yours, if a handle will fit yours or not. Um, for instance, this Cold Steel Recon Tonto has a circumference at the midpoint here, and that's where I'm going to measure these, of three and a half inches. That, uh, I, if I use a rattan stick, my favorite size rattan is three, uh, probably is one and an eighth inch diameter, which gives me a circumference of three and three quarter inches. So there's, there is a little bit of wiggle room here. Uh, if you're touching the skin, that's the beginning of where you want the good grip to be. And then if you are bottoming out your hand on your palm, compressing the flush against the bone, you've gone too far. So back off a little bit of that. On me, it's about a little under half an inch of room where I have that compression. Touching the skin down to almost, but not quite, compressing the flesh against the bone. And that's where I want to be for a handle diameter. So uh, you can figure that out uh, by comparing the knife handles uh, to my hand measurements. Okay, thank you guys. Hope you have a good 2021. Hope to see you in better days. Train hard, but train smart.